Hi everyone, Poro here with another guide, this time for Scion Mid. This pick is very situational, but can completely dictate the pace of the game if picked in the right spots. Scion Mid works very well as a counter pick to melee assassins or scaling champions with a weak early game. Examples of this would include champions like Seraphine, Orianna, Fizz, Katarina, and Kale, to name a few. The aim of this pick is to abuse the enemy's inability to force you out of lane, using Demolish every shovelable wave to chip down the mid turret. The reason why you would take Scion mid over top is due to how short the lane is and how important it is to take mid turret. See, you don't actually want to take side turrets early, as this can lead to situations where the enemy team can freeze the wave at their tier 2 and force your team to overextend to get farm. Mid does not have this problem, as taking the mid turret opens up the map for your team in a beneficial way regardless of what time the turret is taken. Mid is also never required to leash for the jungler, which is a point that will come in handy later. For runes, you'll take Grasp of the Undying with Demolish and Second Wind. Make sure you take Inspiration Secondary, as Cosmic Insight is very important for your teleport cooldown. For summoner spells, you have a choice between Flash and Cleanse. Flash is the more aggressive option, but Cleanse will allow you to siege against hard CC if the enemy team has a lot of it. Your build is going to be an Ionian Boots Rush, again for the teleport cooldown reduction, followed by a Holebreaker and a Titanic Hydra. You'll get your Mythic 3rd, and honestly you have a choice between Frostborn Gauntlet and Prowler's Claw depending on what feels better in that specific game. Once you load into the game, you'll immediately run to your topside jungle. If you are blue team, start Q. If you are red team, start W. At the 115 mark, you'll invade the enemy's topside if possible, and take either Raptors in red, or blue in Gromp. By doing this, you'll ruin the enemy jungler's tempo. Make sure you execute on the second camp so that you can teleport to lane as fast as possible. Keep in mind that by stealing two camps, you're already up an effective 400 gold, so there's no pressure on you if you fall behind. If you started a Ruby Crystal, your team is actually up 800 gold, which is a huge level 1 lead. Your game plan in lane is to absorb poke with second wind and natural tankiness while attempting to pile and shove waves to proc demolish on the enemy turret. If the enemy is positioned incorrectly, you can get a huge chunk of damage on them by slowing them with E and then hitting them with a WQ. Two of these combos will kill, so hit one and the enemy is forced to back away. After you take the first turret, you have a couple options. You can shove mid and look for rift herald priority, or you can attempt to force side turrets the same way you forced mid. While doing this, your main focus should be waiting for the enemy to position incorrectly when the mid wave is shoving towards turret. The instant this blunder occurs, ult the tier 2 mid turret and proc demolish to take either half the turret, or all of it if nobody comes to stop you. If the enemy is really clueless, you can pull this off twice and get the tier 3 mid turret very early as well. From this position, you have two potential game plans you can take, all of this depends heavily on the team comps. If your team outscales, play traditionally and catch side waves like any other mid laner would do. Play for side tier 2s to inflate the gold advantage. If your team gets outscaled, then you're on a timer. This is where you'll abuse Scion's passive to force an early mid inhibitor, preferably around the 17 or 18 minute mark. Now, obviously, you can't just give the enemy team 5 minutes to free farm super minions. This is where you'll use your ult's high damage to ult the Nexus turrets. Make sure you hit both turrets, or you're wasting your ult. With ult, demolish, and your passive, you'll hopefully be able to take either one of the turrets, or get one of the turrets under 33% health threshold. Repeat this again once your cooldowns are up, and take both Nexus turrets. Make sure you drop a ward on the Nexus before you die. This is where it gets funky. Sell all of your items and buy Nashers, Deathcap, and Berserker Greaves. Teleport to the enemy Nexus once all five enemies show outside of base, and your new build will win the game before any of them can recall in time. That's it for this guide. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing. I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash psychopathicporo, so maybe you'll catch me playing this live. Thanks for watching.